We can define osteonecrosis of the jaw as the presence of exposed bone in the maxillofacial region, which has persisted for at least eight weeks in somebody who's never been treated with radiotherapy. And if they've been taking either anti-resorptive or anti-angiogenic treatments, then it's sometimes referred to as medication-related ONJ. The osteoporosis treatments that have been linked with ONJ are the bisphosphonates and denosumab. And it has also been reported with romosozumab treatment. But it's really important to keep things in perspective. So it is very uncommon to see ONJ in people having osteoporosis treatment. And because it's so uncommon, we don't know exactly the, the frequency, but it's estimated to be somewhere between one in a thousand and one in 10,000 person years of treatment. So it is, it is really uncommon. There's some suggestion that the frequency increases a little with longer duration of treatment, but there's no clear evidence that it's more common with the injectable treatments than with the, the oral forms of treatment. Well, we know that poor oral hygiene increases the risk of developing ONJ. So patients should all be advised to have their regular dental checkups and to look after their teeth while they're having osteoporosis treatment, but especially if they're taking any of the treatments that have been linked with ONJ. And if somebody is uh, starting treatment and they, they need to have a dental extraction or they're planning to have implants, then wherever possible, it would make sense for them to complete that treatment before they start their osteoporosis treatment. So that's one situation where having a dental appointment before treatment would be worthwhile. No, the, the guidance from the MHRA and on the SPC for the individual treatments is quite clear on this. So for people starting osteoporosis treatment, considering a dental check before treatment starts is only recommended in those people who have poor dental health or if they have a concomitant risk factor for developing ONJ. So this would be factors such as being a smoker, uh, having diabetes, or taking treatments such as steroids or chemotherapy. And this is different from the advice which is given to people who are starting bisphosphonates or denosumab as part of cancer treatment. So in that situation, higher doses are used and treatments given more frequently. And in that situation, there is a, a considerably higher risk of developing ONJ and, and having a, a baseline dental check um, or a check very early on in treatment is much more critical. Yes, yeah, so if somebody's at very high risk of fracture, so say I'm seeing somebody who's had a recent vertebral fracture and has really low BMD, then even if they've got risk factors for ONJ, I'd be very keen to start their osteoporosis treatment as soon as possible, not delay that while they wait to see their dentist. I'd advise them that the, the risk of them having a further fracture is much higher than their risk of developing ONJ. But clearly, I, I'd, I'd recommend that they look after their dental health carefully and that they see their dentist as soon as possible.